When you're starting a blog, one of the most difficult decisions is choosing your blog niche. That's why in this video I will show you the top 7 most profitable blogging niches based on the trends for this year. Let's get started! Hi, I'm Anastasia of AnastasiaBlogger.com and on this channel I cover my tips on blogging, Pinterest and running an online business. Subscribe and click on the bell button if you want to get more of my videos in your feed. This research published by RankIQ analyzed 800 blogs that were making over $2,000 per month and or getting over 50,000 monthly sessions. The link to that research will be in the description. Here you will see that for median income, food and personal finance blogs were at the top of the list. The food bloggers had a median monthly income of $9,169, and the personal finance bloggers came in just a hair below with $9,100. So if you ask me to start the list of most profitable blogging niches, you shouldn't be surprised that the food blogs are number one on the list. It's relatively easy to start getting a ton of traffic to a food blog. You can start with Pinterest, and it help you drive traffic much faster than Google SEO. If you want to get started on Pinterest, check out my free Pinterest masterclass. I'll give you a link up there and in the description below. Just for inspiration, I will show you some blog income reports for each of the niches. So this food blog called Midwest Foodie Blog made over $64,000 in the first quarter of 2022. Most of this income comes from display ads on her blog. The number two top blog niche idea is anything personal finance and investing in stock or crypto. In the last couple of years, all content related to investing in stocks and crypto was getting a lot of attention. With the recession on the horizon, people are still very interested in learning about investing as well as about saving money. You can check an income report on FinSavvy Panda from March of 2021, when she made over $27,000, of which about $20,000 was her income from affiliate products. What's interesting is that pro bloggers making between seven and half thousand and twenty five thousand dollars per month get 33 percent of their income from ads and 42 percent from affiliates for example this blog in the personal finance niche made about ninety two thousand dollars in the year of 2021 of which sixty two thousand dollars was the advertising income and about thirty thousand dollars was affiliate income i would say there is one niche that stands out from this rule because travel bloggers usually make a lot more with sponsored content than with affiliate links one example of this is the blog living the dream that shows in their income report for june of 2022 that out of their fifteen thousand dollar income about seven thousand was ad income and about the same amount came from sponsored content and only 1600 was their affiliate income but another factor of blog monetization that you can hardly evaluate as a beginner is how much email marketing is contributing to the blog income for every dollar marketers spend on email marketing 44 dollars is made in return according to a study by campaign monitor and sending newsletter on personal finance tips or even recipes with links to your audience can earn you even more money in addition to your ad revenue. This is why I thought it was the best moment to introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, Moosand. It's a relatively newer email marketing automation platform that has managed to stand out thanks to its easy-to-use interface a variety of features and affordable pricing. You'll find that Moosand gives you a complete package of tools that you need, including email newsletters, sign-up forms, and landing pages that will capture your audience. You can start your Moosand account using my link anastasiablogger.com slash Moosand and use it for free for a whole month. And then the first paid plan start at just $9 a month. Compared to many other email marketing tools, this is one of the most affordable monthly fees. And you get really high de deliverability scores with Moosand. Make sure to use my code ANASTASIAG10 to get a 10% discount for 12 months of your monthly subscription with Moosand. This coupon will only work for the first 100 users, so don't miss your chance! 
You can create beautiful professional email campaigns to engage with your audience. You will get advanced segmentation features that will help you send the right emails to the right subscribers. And by doing this, you will minimize the number of unsubscribers. And to grow your audience, Moosend gives you all the features to create, launch and optimize stunning landing pages and subscription forms, all with one tool. You can measure your marketing success and collect powerful data for better decision making. Plus, if you're stuck somewhere, you can learn from Musan's free academy, help articles, webinars, and a dedicated support team that can definitely help you with your efforts. Again, you can sign up for a free month, no credit card required. Use the link anastasiablogger.com slash musend and create your account with any email address that you plan to use for your business or blog. It doesn't have to be an email with your own domain, it can be any Gmail account. In the next step, you can create your login domain, essentially it's like your username on other platforms. The next step requires you to add a company name, but if you don't have a business yet, simply add your personal name here. Your physical address is legally required for any email providers, but again, if you don't have a company, could be your home address. You can also update this field later in your account settings. So definitely check out Musend and now let's get back to the most profitable blogging niches. Niche number three is health and fitness. Health is the type of content that will always be in demand. People will always need to take care of their health, no matter how good or bad the economy is, people are always prepared to spend money on their health. So this blogging niche, in spite of high competition, is always profitable. Check, for example, this blogger, the trusty Potter, who made over $11,000 with a health and fitness site in September of 2021. Niche number four is lifestyle. Lifestyle blogs will never be out of fashion because they're so broad and can cover any new trending topics. Check out this blog, a modern homestead that made about $10,300 in July of 2020. Niche number five is the travel niche, and it's coming back after the pandemic and it can keep driving you a lot of traffic. Check out this blog called Living the Dream, which made almost $10,000 in December of 2021. Niche number six is business and software reviews. Business niche and software reviews are incredibly profitable even if your traffic volume is not huge because you can monetize it with high-ticket affiliate products or products with recurring commissions. For example, this Rairo blog made $35,200 in March of 2021. Niche number seven, home decor. When you think of the home decor niche, it might not be obvious to you how profitable it can be. The reality is, we all live in a home and people always want to make their homes more cozy and pretty. Furniture, new gadgets and technologies for home are typically the products in a higher price range, so as an affiliate for those products you can count on really great commissions. An example of a blog that does a good job with both display ads and affiliate links in the home decor niche is the blog called By Sophia Lee. And you can check here on one of her latest income reports for May of 2020 that she made $43,000. As a bonus, I'm going to surprise you with this top secret. You actually don't have to choose the blog niche right away. In fact, there are many websites with very weird domain names that don't reflect any specific niche. And if you're stuck, the best solution is to use some generic domain name. Something that allows you to change the niche later. Experiment with different topics on the blog or make your niche as broad as you wish in the future. It could be your personal name or some made-up word. You know, a ton of huge brands that used invented words like Google or Adidas, Kodak and so on. If you take a generic or invented word for your domain name, you can always change your mind about the niche later. So you can make a really good income in many blogging niches. Just pick the one that works the best for you. If you'd like me to go more in depth about choosing the right blog niche for you, like this video and comment below. I want to learn more. You can also check the link up there to watch my video, which will help you drive a ton of Pinterest traffic to your blog this year. Thanks for watching.